Okay, so right now you guys are looking at the landing page for a website called typingmind.com. This is a AI chat interface and currently it is my go-to and it is my favorite by far in comparison to some of the other options that I've tried. I have self-hosted options like LibreChat. I've also used some other services like Abacus AI, Galaxy AI, and a couple others. And this one is by far my favorite option. It's the most robust, it's the most affordable, and it is a privacy-focused application. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so Typing Mind is a professional chat UI front end that lets you chat with multiple AI models in one place. And best of all, you get to use your own API keys. So OpenAI, Claude, any of the Gemini models, and you can also use your open router key. So you can bring on every single model that's available out there and use it within this chat interface. Now, my favorite feature is their privacy first focus. So if you decide to use typingmind.com, you can do local storage. Everything is stored in your browser, which I think is amazing. I am currently using their cloud-based option, which I'm paying 10 bucks a month for, because I'm going to be using this on other devices. And I don't really feel like self-hosting it because it's already so cheap doing it through them. But self-hosting is an option, but it still requires you to purchase a license. Now, if you want to purchase a license, it is $99 for a lifetime and you never have to pay anything else after that. And you will continue to get updates from them for just $99. So very affordable. You're not going to have to pay a monthly fee. There are no usage limits. You get to use multiple models. They also now support an MCP. They also support your own custom plugins and uh, other types of integrations as well. So again, this is really robust, but it also just works out of the box. All you have to do is just add an API key and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and review some of their features. All right, so this is what it looks like as soon as you log in. Right off the bat, you're going to see the chat interface over here. On the sidebar, you're going to see the ability to add projects. You can create a new chat. You'll also have profiles that you can add to, which I think is a pretty cool option. I haven't seen that before with some of the, the other web UIs currently available. Within the projects, you can also edit your project settings. So you can add context. You can use a starting model right now. I'm using the global default. For me, it's just GPT-5. And then you can also assign an AI agent if you wanted to add one in here. All really cool options. If you go into one of the chats, so I'll show you my most recent one here. I'm creating a new logo for my business, but it also supports vision. So you can chat with chat GPT-5 and it'll utilize the GPT image editor to create images for you which is really useful. I've been using it quite a bit, but typingmind.com also has a canvas feature within their chats. So you can go in here and edit whatever you want. You can rewrite it, make it shorter, make it longer. You can do whatever you want with the actual outputs. You can format the text. You can edit the raw text. You can copy the markdown, download the markdown, copy the formatted text. You can also enable all the plugins right here. So right now I have Context7, Gina for web search, memory, I have Puppeteer and an MCP. So if you want, you can actually create an NAN workflows within this application. It has GPT image editor built in. So all you have to do is turn that on, put in your API key, and it can start creating images for you. It can render charts. It has an interactive canvas. It can even render HTML for you. So if you want to get some ideas for maybe creating like a homepage or something, all you have to do is put in your prompt and then it'll render the HTML output. And it has a simple to-do list as well. Now you can also create your own custom plugins or you can import plugins that other users have created. I believe that they're working on creating a marketplace, which is coming soon. So that'll be pretty cool to see. The other thing I really like about this is that you can create your own prompt library. I don't personally use that very often, but I think it's a really cool feature to have. You can browse prompts. So there are a ton on here that you can look through. Models is a really cool tab to check out. So as you can see, I have the custom one for Open Router AI. So with Open Router, you can actually import any model you want. All you have to do is just go to add custom model and then put in your endpoint URL, model ID, context length, stuff like that. It's pretty easy to set up. They have documentation on this as well if you want to use Open Router. So you can go right here and look at all the documentation. But natively, you can just put in your Open AI 
API key, Anthropic, and then Gemini. The next part here is their knowledge base. So right here, you can also upload your own knowledge base. You can create different sources for your knowledge bases, and then you can reference those either in your project settings, or you can build them into your AI agents. So right here, you can create your AI agents. Pretty simple to do. It's basically the same across the industry. Just go to create AI agent, name, description, categories, add a picture if you want, system instructions. You can choose a model here, choose what plugins is on, are automatically available to the agent, and you can even add trading files, which is pretty cool. You can also grant it the knowledge base access right here. You can do it by tags. So now all my Catholic data sources are available to this model now dynamic context, and then few shot prompting as well, which I haven't personally tried out yet, but could be something useful. You can add a welcome message and then conversation starters. Again, very highly customizable, very robust. This includes features from every single AI chat interface out there right now. Anything that you'd want, it's going to be on here. You can set up a team account as well. So if you have an AI agency or an automation agency, you can have shared knowledge bases. You can do roles and permissions, analytics, and then some customization as well. So really cool stuff here. You can also change the appearance. You can add your MCPs here. So you can do this locally. You can run a local terminal or you can run a remote server. I personally run a remote server. I run this server through render. It only cost me $7 a month. They have the source code on GitHub. So all you have to do is just get that image and upload it into either render or digital ocean, whatever hosting service you want to use. And then you can go ahead and start adding MCP servers here. I would go to edit servers, but I do have some API keys hard coded on here. Don't kill me. But anyways, you can also add extensions. You can do text to speech with OpenAI, even 11 labs, and you can do voice input. And then you have some general options here as well, like stream AI responses, auto generate title for new chats, auto suggest relevant keywords after each message, and so much more. Again, this is seriously my favorite AI chat interface. Typingline.com is not sponsoring this. I just thought that it was a great tool. It took me a long time to find this. They surprisingly don't really have a lot of stars on GitHub, but so far it's been my go-to AI chat interface. I really don't see myself trying out any other interfaces at this point because I've tried out so many. So let me know what your thoughts are. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.